And the tactic that I said I'm going to do where I've just gone and collected them and stored them in various garages pretty close by so uh, I can just get them done as quickly as possible and within a list and uh, the episode just so it's, it saves time wasted uh, seeing that me just sort of uh, drive around waiting for them to open up and uh, actually spawn unlocked so there's the Patriot gone uh, my account was free left just have a quick uh, check up on what they are and I'm excited to do off them now scattered about the Felter, the Buffalo and the Admiral so let's head off to the safe houses and just uh, bring them back here to start the uh, episode then I'll probably have time enough to travel back across to uh, Venturis then um, probably start the next mission which is Monster so as ever I'm just going to start this mission and fail it just to get this energy this out of a bike and um, the first one, uh, I think I've got a couple actually in the garage near Doherty, if not, uh, it's been a few days since I stored them, um, if not then it's probably going to be the, the next nearest garage swarmed by the hippie courier place. So it's the check, still got a mission left for these but uh, not in such a rush to do that. So where's the compact in here? I think that is the Felter in the middle. Hey, hey, yeah, it's on there. Um, basically I thought I'd show you as well actually, because uh, if you check my cash when I get off in a sec, I've actually about 120k down what I was, maybe even 200k. Uh, in the off cam I've bought this apartment there, which is actually 100,000. Uh, it is a good one though, it's got a garage, done in Carlton Heights. Then I bought this one in Paradiso for, um, I'm not sure actually, about 30k, something like that. It wasn't too dear, but that's, this one has a garage as well, so I just bought them just for extra storage. Uh, I also bought the hotel over here that was about 50k. Um, no storage for that one, but there's a vehicle that spawns outside at the Stafford, which I need for the next lift. So. Um, you do have to buy all the uh, properties for 100% completion anyway, so I thought I might as well just get them out of the way now. And uh, as you see, what well, well, I've got the uh, Patriot getting these lifts off the way is uh, probably going to get me money back straight away. Anyway. So of course you can get even more as well if you take it easier getting them when they're doing top condition. As you can see this one's in relatively good condition but the, uh, the front bumper has fell off so I'm not actually that fussed about it. I'm going to end up with enough cash to get by anyway. But um, you can maximise it by doing the pain spray and it just gets just get you a lot more of course. Now next list is a list of 10. Um, I am probably going to pick them up as I'm going. Um, we'll do the odd episode. Uh, you know, because this list I've sort of smashed through. Uh, I've only done a couple of... I don't even think I've done a mission since the... Uh, the last... what's the name? Uh, list started, so... Just get this one out the way, basically, for the start. Uh, then, yeah, the, the next two lists I think I will do more in time, rather than just uh, doing it straight off. In, like one block. So the next two I imagine are the one over by Hippie Courier and the new one in the top of that S road. So I'm gonna to have to do with fair one away, which is the S road on to show you this apartment because uh I didn't um record the footage when I uh two pairs just Oh Let's be careful. We do still have to jump off the uh ship twice. I don't wanna die doing it. So basically, uh, saying I'll tell you where I picked them all up, uh, part of the, the, uh, the list, because I'm um, just obviously cutting the time that I did pick it up out of the, uh, the episode. The Patriot was where I was looking last time, 
um, just that little sort of a car park outside Easter Bay Chemicals, that's the one. So it's just around there you find your Patriot. Yeah, the Felter was actually all the way down here. This little place there, so if you head there, you'll find a Felter. Uh, as for the Admiral, don't know where I'm going because it was right over here, so you can see why I did it off camera. It took a long time, it took about half an hour just getting all these vehicles uh, back. So it was just around there, I think. Just sort of opposite the beach, you can't miss it, it's sort of parked right to the side of the road in a Verona beach, so just head to that marker and you'll find your Admiral. So yeah, I'm assuming this is where I stashed it, because this was the first apartment I bought off the two in uh, San Fierro that I bought. I'm not going to count the hotels and apartments, but it's probably sweet. So I'll just suck this. Yeah, I'm not sure if you do get a cash reward for actually completing each list. Um, I assume you do. Uh, oh wow, I didn't slash the Admiral here. It must be in the other one, so... Apologies for that. Uh, so that's been a few days, so uh, I don't actually remember. So it definitely wasn't in this one, because that's where I started today's recording that, and I wasn't in there, so it must be down here. That was a bit annoying. Uh, it cost me about a minute or so, but... Um, yeah, except Monster will probably be next episode. Uh, almost certainly be next episode, I think of that. So what I'm going to do is, after I've dropped the second one off, I'm going to head straight to... Um, the airport, probably. Grab a heli. Get over to the oh, uh, I'll evaluate when I get to the list, of course, because if, if I'm on the list and there are a few cars that I know the locations of, I wouldn't entirely rule out you know, just dropping them ones off there, actually, in you. hindsight, because it will free up my garage. And uh, that was a problem I found. I mean, you have a lot of space in these garages right now, but them garages have got a fear of old um, nine vehicles, I think. But they were all full up. That Patriot, there was no room left for it, so I had to start the video um, with the Patriot right there. So that worked out okay, thankfully. But other lists, for instance, you know, I might end up getting a car that I need and not have enough room to stash it. So, yeah, there's the Admiral. There's an example, I think Sabres on the second list. I uh, do not want to get in this, what am I doing? Uh, Journey's on the third list, I believe. So this Admiral was probably the, the hardest to get, because it was in um, Los Santos. It was quite far away, a bit annoying to grab. Yeah, particularly considering they are quite common in uh, other games, like Vice City for instance, the last one. Um, yeah, compared to San Andreas, for some reason this vehicle is a lot more rare. I think certain vehicles do tend to spawn just on one island in this game. So one island, you know, one, one part of the state. And uh, this one is oh, right. So that's the fixed location, but yeah, you know, even around um, San Piero on the streets, I don't think you'll ever really see this spot. It tends to be the Elegant. I mean, this is more of a basic version of the Elegant. I, know, I think San Piero is slightly richer, you know, it's slightly classier cars in general on the streets than the uh, Alex. And Taurus is sort of a mix between the two, I'd say. So the last one now is um, the Buffalo. Can't recall which garage put that in actually. I'll check Fungi first of all, of course, the, uh, the one by Dozy. Now it wouldn't have been far, uh, I was sort of switching out cars from one garage to another just to uh, minimise time. As you can see, even dropping off vehicles takes up the whole effort. That's why I don't like the import list on this game. Because it's just so 
time consuming. bike for the list by the way. So I just thought I'd keep it there just uh, may as well. Just to go around passing the garage when I need another car. Just to travel away and take that. So that'll be on the Twitch still and uh, just off the top of my head so I've got what, one, two, three, three places in the garage for one for list two. Well uh, there probably are about three spawn spots on um, Venturis. So yeah, I'll just grab them as I go. But generally I will try to keep this up, you know, uh, getting the vehicles back to St. Pierre though, I'll try and limit to as little episode time as possible just because um, of the repetitive nature of it. And uh, I'm really looking forward to starting the missions on um, Insurance, you know, um, Monster is a really good one. We are given a novelty vehicle, the monster truck. And uh, wow, that was a bit concerning. I was worried my buffalo was going to tip me. So, yeah, yeah, be careful getting your buffalo up here. Because it ran over that rail really easily, which I didn't think was possible to be honest. But here's this list done. Let's see if we do get an extra prize. It doesn't appear so, but you get a lot of money for the buffalo. And uh, now we have a new list, so let's just have a check up. So, let's have a run through. I've got the Slam Van. Uh, no, I haven't, actually. Uh, I've got the Blister Compacto. Stafford is the one outside in the hotel. I've got the Sabre. Um, I've got the Starion. Well, it was not too bad to get hold of, actually. The only rancher spawn point I can think of is in Los Santos. The Slam Van's definitely in Los Santos. That's a hard one to get. Uh, the FCR is in Vice, uh, Venturis, I think. The, there should be a Comet and a Cheetah, easy enough to find in Fiero, I think. The tank is in Las Venturis. And that's it, so... Yeah, uh, I think the last one phased me a bit more. This one isn't too bad. And uh, list three, I've already got about two, three vehicles, four already, so uh, yeah, I should be okay. So to the airport, grab ourselves a heli and uh, make our way over to Monster. So uh, actually I may as well just cut the episode there and uh, cut to it next time I'm about to start my two years mission. So uh, thanks for joining me, we've finished off the first lift, it's another one to check up. And uh, we'll still quick start check actually because it has been a while with the uh, time still remaining on the episode. We're on 43.85%. So getting there. Um, still a hell of a lot to do, but we have done a hell of a lot. It just gives you a, a scope of how much you have to do on uh, San Andreas. So, um, yeah, let's begin the uh, missions for Last Venturious next episode, and uh, hopefully, I catch you there.